You heard the latest? Ooh, child, I knew that was true from the moment my auntie's friend's cousin sister told me. The Tug, here's what's trending. In my opinion, think different TVs will sheer. Everyone out there, this is Lashia from Think Different TV, which is every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Think Different TV YouTube channel. And this is, in my opinion, with Think Different TV's Lashia. Let's get into it. So yesterday, I was locked into the tube, YouTube that is, because someone was gracious enough to upload all 50 parts of the TikTok story, Who the F Did I Marry? And baby, this story was juicy. Told by TikToker Risa Tisa, I was hooked from beginning to end. A true lifetime story. Luckily, it didn't end up being an episode of Snap. She talks about her relationship with a narcissistic pathological liar. When I heard his birthday and deduced he was a Gemini, I was not surprised. Anyway, the plot thickened. She has told her story, but like Dr. Phil says, no matter how flat you make a pancake, it has two sides. Legion, she referred to as her ex in the story, has come forward to tell his side on TikTok. And now it has become a whole drama unfolding on TikTok with many viewing with popcorn in hand. In my opinion, while it was entertaining, it was also an eye-opener to many young women to not settle because of desperation, to not ignore the red flags because of wanting so badly to be loved, and to not blindly trust someone at their word because they say what sounds good in the moment. Some are arguing that she is foolish to air out her dirty laundry, but if you sat there and watch, who is really the foolish one? We want so badly to be entertained by someone's messy life which could very well be the reason why many are tuning into Where is Wendy Williams series on Lifetime. Now, before I talk about the documentary, let's get into Wendy Williams' health. She has been diagnosed with, with frontal temporal dementia and aphasia. Aphasia is difficulty finding the right word, and as it becomes more difficult, it is an early sign of a brain problem. Frontal temporal dementia is dementia dealing with your frontal lobe i.e. the filter. This is the same thing Bruce Willis had. Now, we all know Wendy didn't have a filter as it is. She was always straight, no chaser. However, this disease is making it increasingly difficult to control what she said. When one drinks, they may experience these same symptoms. You know how they say a drunk mouth speaks sober thoughts? Well, this disease is like being drunk all the time. Now that I have explained what Wendy is facing, let's get into this documentary. This is a four and a half hour piece, which began airing yesterday with part one in two episodes and part two airing tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in two episodes. I want to watch it because the clips make it look like something to watch. However, I can't help but feel dirty watching it because, in my opinion, this is watching someone deteriorate before our eyes. Forget that it's Wendy Williams for those who have a gripe against her. There are six and a half million people dealing with dementia right now. This disease has no pit. She is a person, and I truly believe this documentary is exploiting her in a way that is inhumane. How was she even in the right mind to agree to this documentary being made in the first place? Her court-appointed guardian filed an injunction to stop the series from airing, but as we can see, the attempt was unsuccessful. It's heartbreaking to see this series titled Where is Wendy Williams? when we know the Wendy Williams we knew is lost within her own mind. And that was, in my opinion, with Think Different TV's Lashia was yours. 